There, I'm Adam from Altitude Marketing, and today I want to run you through Google Tables, uh, which is the newest piece of software to come out of Google's Area 120 uh, in-house incubator. The big picture here is, look, it's obvious what this is. This is very, very clearly meant to be an Airtable competitor. Uh, Airtable, of course, uh, one of these unicorn tech companies, just did a massive raise on, I think, a $2.5 billion valuation. Uh, really have done a great job uh, bridging the gap between spreadsheet and database functionality, have really opened themselves up uh, in terms of integrations. I know a lot of folks who have built uh, and run their entire CRM on Airtable. We do our, a lot of our project scheduling on Airtable. It's a really fantastic tool. And the fact of the matter here is with Google Tables, uh, you have something similar. This reminds me a lot of when Google Data Studio came out uh, to start to compete with the Tableaus and Domos of the world. This feels a lot like when Data Studio was back uh, in beta, which is to say, it's pretty good, right? There's really nothing wrong with this. It obviously doesn't have all the functionality Airtable does. Airtable is a $2.5 billion valued company that's been around for many, many years. But to give a quick tour uh, today of Google Tables and show you how some of it stacks up one-to-one -one, uh, with Airtable. So obviously this is Google Tables here. If you're familiar with uh, Airtable functionality, you're familiar with the way this looks. As a matter of fact, a lot of the icons are almost identical. I mean, granted, like a filter icon is a filter icon, but it's really close. Um, the look here is a little bit more sparse, a little bit more Spartan, but it's Google. That's what you're going to expect. That's fine. It's, it's really not a big deal. Uh, in terms of functionality, however, uh, you do start to get into some differences. So one uh, plus and one neat thing that Google Tables has uh, is the ability to deliver a map view uh, directly within the core structure uh, of the application. So I can go ahead, if I want here, and I can flip this to a map view, and it brings Google Maps uh, directly in. Now I can do that uh, over in Airtable if I want to, but it's gonna be in what used to be called a block. Uh, now it's called an Airtable app you know, with the dawn of the Airtable uh, marketplace. So one neat little quirk there uh, from Google Tables, probably not something you're going to use an absolute ton of, uh, but it is something it has uh, that Airtable definitely doesn't. Now, one thing that Airtable definitely has that Google Tables doesn't uh, is this entire uh, block section here. I'm sorry, they're, they're apps now. They're not blocks anymore. Years of calling them blocks, right? So the page designer is something you can automatically spin up PDFs here. Uh, you can run uh, code here within Airtable. Um, you can display certain records based on filters. There's all kinds of things, right? The Gantt chart is a huge one for project management. Uh, we've used Airtable in the past to basically build our own version of Microsoft Project, uh, just a lot more accessible, a lot prettier, um, and a lot more customizable, obviously, than the project can be. So all of this here, and, and like you have to imagine the same way that Data Studio opened up community visualizations and community connectors, this is all going to come to Google Tables, but you know it's not there right now. Um, the other big thing with Airtable that it has that Tables doesn't yet are all, are all of these field types, right? There's any number of things you can do, and this is just in my head field. I only have a, a limited number there. And when I go and look in one of my body fields, there's a ton of different things, right? These roll-ups, the formulas, the ratings, um, some, some of the stuff just doesn't yet uh, exist in tables. I have to imagine it is very much a yet, right? But you do have your basics here in tables. You have your auto numbering, your creator, your, your metadata type stuff, checkbox, checklists. It's, it's pretty neat. Tags, uh, something you would have to build by hand over an air table. You know, numbering. You know, I don't have, for instance, a URL. I certainly don't have barcodes here. Some of the really advanced, really cool stuff, you know, the 2% use case kind of things that Airtable has. Uh, but again, it's all basically here. Now, uh, one piece that's come to Airtable uh, relatively recently and Google Tables has out of the box are automations. Tables calls them bots. Airtable calls them automations. Um, these are trigger action statements. The same thing you get from Zapier, right? This is actually a, a Zapier uh, Air, Airtable that we built here when we did our expert testing there. Um, and ironically, uh, Airtable has rolled out some Google integrations with automations. I, I don't know if they knew Tables was coming uh, or not. Um, you know, but I can tie this directly into my Google Sheets. I can certainly send emails and tie it directly to Google Forms. And then, of course, with Zapier, you can do just about anything with Airtable, uh, you know, sending emails and notifications and populating this. Like I said, it's, it's something that a lot of folks will actually use as their entire CRM because it's so customizable. It's so big that way. Uh, so we have automations here in Airtable. If I go back over to tables, I have my bots. Um, nope. 
pretty much the same thing relatively, right? Something changes, you know, it's the scheduler, which is nice. I'd probably do that with schedule by Zapier right now, uh, or something being added to a view, you know, row added, row removed, you know, the, the stuff that you would expect. And, and then it can do all the basic things like add a row, delete a row, send a notification, all that kind of stuff. Another point of dif differentiation between the two is the way you share um, your, uh, your data here. So if you like the way Google does its sharing with permissions, uh, you have the same thing. They have Data Studio, Sheets, Slides, Docs, all that. Um, it's right here. It's the same basic thing. You can grant permissions uh, based on your company, grant permissions based on individuals, everybody with the link, all that stuff. It's all the stuff you expect from Google. I will say that's a slight plus to Google Tables over Airtable. Uh, the sharing here uh, in Airtable uh, is really robust. It's really big. There's a ton that you can do with it, but it's not the most intuitive thing in the world. Uh, we've actually, actually accidentally invited people um, rather than just sharing a link with them. It doesn't always make a ton of sense. So Google brings with it uh, the plus of, look, it's Google. You, you've shared stuff through Google before. If you're new to Airtable or relatively new to Airtable, you might not know uh, how to work the sharing 100%. So that's just a quick look uh, at the way these uh, two shape up here. Again, this is clearly an Airtable competitor. Uh, it does a lot of what Airtable does. Airtable is not wildly inexpensive, especially if you have a lot of users on it, you can run up a pretty big bill pretty fast. Tables right now is free. I think it's only available in the US right now. So for what it's worth, but, you know, the, the price is right. Again, I, I very much equate this with Data Studio when it was in beta, uh, competing with the Tableaus of the world. I have to imagine this is gonna grow uh, if Google continues to invest in it. And I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. People absolutely love Airtable. And there's gonna be a lot of shops, a lot of people out there who really like this free version uh, that does um, a lot of what it does. Doesn't have all the bells and whistles, doesn't quite have everything, uh, but it's pretty gosh darn solid. I'm, I'm really impressed to see this uh, out of Google today. So that's a quick look again, Google Tables and Airtable. Is Tables as good as Airtable? No. Is it close and is it going to be good enough for a lot of people? It absolutely will be. So thanks for watching. Uh, looking forward to next time.